Hi, welcome to this lesson on supply and demand or the individual product market. Learning targets are as follows. I can graph a supply curve and explain the law of supply. I can explain what causes the supply of a good or service to change and show that change in a graph. I can show and explain elastic and inelastic supply. I can show and explain the surplus and shortage of a product. And I can show and explain what happens to the equilibrium price and quantity of a product when demand and or supply changes. This video here is just on the first learning target. I can graph a supply curve and explain the law of supply. Big picture regarding supply and demand product markets. Generally speaking, the prices and quantities of goods and services are set in the market, and when the supply and or demand for a product changes, so too will its price and quantity. Learning target one, I can graph a supply curve and explain the law of supply. Here, you want to put yourself in the business position or the producer position and what determines how much of a good is available for sale. That's what supply is, being willing and able to make and supply a good to the market at a specific price at a specific point in time. We have a supply schedule over there on the left, and let's say it's the supply schedule for steak. And what this says is if a producer, if a business who is in the market uh, of making steak, if they think they can get a specific price for a product, then how much will they make and supply to the market? So if P, then Q. I want to emphasize here the P is the price uh, the steak producer would be getting for selling the product. It's not the cost of making the product. Just like price with demand was the price you pay for the product, here the price is what you get for selling the product. So let's say with steak, a steak producers thought that they could get a dollar for steak. Then maybe the quantity supplied is 10 they'd make 10, supply them to the market, given the incentive of just getting a dollar for making steak. But let's say for whatever reason they think they can get five dollars per steak. Then what we would expect to have happen is that the quantity supplied would increase. That's a greater incentive to make steak if you think you can get more per steak. So maybe the quantity supplied is 20 here. If the price were ten dollars, then quantity supplied 30, still higher, if the price were $15, then quantity supplied 40. If the price were $20, then quantity supplied 50. Take these points and we plot them on a graph. Price on the y-axis, quantity on the x-axis. So we have a point at $1 and quantity 10. We have a point at $5 price and quantity 20. We have a price at $10 and 30. We have a price at 15, a point, excuse me, at $15 and 40 and we have a point at twenty dollars and fifty connect the points and here is our supply curve labeled s a reminder that labeling is very important you'll notice it's an upward sloping curve and so if you look at that curve as the price increases what happens to quantity supplied quantity supplied increases as price decreases what happens to quantity supplied quantity supplied decreases. So there's a positive relationship here between price and quantity supplied. This is our law of supply. It says that generally speaking, as the price of a good increases, the quantity supplied is going to increase, or as the price of a good decreases, the quantity supplied is going to decrease. Now, what's the reason for this? For the most part, it is that profit incentive or motive. The work, the cost, that goes into making something, if you can get more for it, you have more of an incentive to make it. Also, there are increasing opportunity costs. Think back to the PPF. So you need a higher price to cover. I mean, the more time, I mean, the more you make, the more time that goes into it, there's other stuff you can't do. So you need a higher price to cover. And then also at a higher price, uh, it could incentivize, incentivize people who weren't making steak before to all of a sudden get in the steak market. Now I want to emphasize what change in quantity supplied is versus a change in supply. And a change in quantity supplied is caused by a price change. So if the price of a good changes, then the quantity supplied is going to change. It would be incorrect to say that when the price of a good changes, the supply changes. This is shown by a movement along the curve. So maybe we have uh, our initial point here at $5 and the quantity supplied is 20 But then 
the price changes. The price goes up to $15. What changes? Quantity supply changes. Quantity supply is 40 here. How do we show that a movement on the curve?